only have a little bit of minutes left on this camera so I'm gonna go ahead and talk as long as I can then I'm gonna transfer my data and then come back to uh, finish this tutorial but this is a cooking with soul segment a how-to portion on this cooking with soul segment and I as you can see and as you've seen in my uh, other one of my other videos that I bought a cast iron skillet well, a cast iron Dutch oven and here it is a large cast iron uh, Dutch oven it is in um, 10 by 1 4th diameter and um, there it is it is a brand new Dutch oven that I bought from Walmart and as you can see it is pre-seasoned um, by the manufacturer so what I'm going to do now is uh, put it in some um, hot well warm uh, soap water wash it out and then I'm going to uh, season it myself and what I'm going to do is take some uh, uh, olive oil vegetable oil excuse me you can do vegetable oil you can do olive oil but I have vegetable oil here and I'm going to generously coat it around the inside of the pan uh, outside the handles the bottom um, the lid the, the lid handle everything so as you can see I'm holding my um, uh, camera and um, um, what I'm going to do now is I'm, I'm running down to the, about a minute or so but I'm going to go ahead and do that and then I'll show y'all the next portion and also I've already preheated my conventional oven here in the house to 345 degrees 350 375 I'm sorry 375 350 degrees or you can do it on your gas grill um, outside but it is late now so I'm gonna do it in the house and I'll come back uh, after I have oiled it and after I've washed it and oiled it and let y'all know the next step all right see y'all in a bit peace okay you all so what I'm doing now is finishing up my wipe uh, wipe down I've already did uh, the bottom and the sides and I don't know if you've seen it before but um, it's got the shiny look because I wiped it down with the um, with the vegetable oil so now what I'm getting ready to do is do do the lid and then I'm gonna pop it in the oven for about an hour and a half then I'm gonna turn it off and then just leave it until the morning so let me do the lid and I'll be right back okay 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 <laughs> okay you guys I've did I've done the lid and I'm about to pop it in the oven for again like I said about an hour to two hours almost and then I'm gonna let it sit and cool off uh, watch this. Placing, placing the lid in there uh, at the bottom. And now goes the actual Dutch oven itself. So it's in there. You can't see it. And I'm going to let it uh, uh, bake or cook or whatever you want to call it at um, 350. And then I'll be back. okay you guys it is the next morning and the uh, the uh, process has done I'm finished seasoning my um, y'all the process is done and I'm finished seasoning my Dutch oven and here goes the results as you can see it is uh, seasoned very well and it has a uh, really smooth finish to it and um yeah so that's all it is to it and I hope you all uh, are having a great great day and that's it thank y'all so much for watching if you would like more videos like this continue to watch and also know that I love you for real alright to my new and old subscribers thank you so much for subscribing and if you're not a subscriber click that subscribe button somewhere around here and if you uh, 
uh, would like to follow me on social media, check me out at Inside Mr. Irish 3 on Twitter and Instagram. All right? Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. Know that I love you for real. And always remember to live every day, laugh every moment, and love beyond words. And thank you for watching this Cooking with Soul uh, How-To Edition. All right, talk to you later. Peace.